This week we're going to finish off a descriptive statistics summary for the class data set. I again have just my smaller data set of the first, oh, it looks like 24 individuals this time. So what I want to do is I want to go and grab the table from the assignment so that I don't have to retype all that stuff. I'm just going to copy the whole pa table and paste the whole table in on a new sheet. Now I could go back through and redo these values for the mean, median, mode, min, max, and how many there are, but you can just review those if you need to um, in the week three supplement video. So I want to focus now just on range. Um, let's work with years. Well, no, let's work with height. We're comfortable. We've been working with height a lot. So for range, I remember it's the maximum score minus the minimum score. And I'm going to have Excel do that for me. So to do that, I'm going to type equals, and then I'm going to go MAX for maximum, parentheses. I'm going to go over to sheet one. I'm going to grab my height data, and parentheses. Go back over to sheet two. See how I'm still there? Right now it just has the maximum. I want maximum minus minimum, so that it actually takes the two values for each of those and subtracts them for me. So it's going to find the max and it's going to find the min and then it's going to subtract them. The nice thing about this is if you, um, if you end up changing those values in there, this table will adjust itself to change with it. So I've got equals max maximum minus minimum oh that should say sheet one that's the problem see how I kinda tried to troubleshoot that I knew the answer couldn't have been seventy something um, so what I did was I looked at my formula again and I said alright what's wrong and I noticed that the sheet one wasn't selected for the second now I'm gonna hit return see what happens yeah it makes a lot more sense thirteen inches as the range from the highest to lowest values all right, um, let's get the inner quartile range next. Now we're going to introduce a new um, function here, and I'm going to put it down here just so you can see it. It's percentile.inc, and percentile.inc is the inclusive percentile, and it actually what it does is it tells you what value lives at that percentile. So here's how you type it in. Um, you're going to type in first your equal sign, and then percent and then notice how it always shows up here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the one I want. Again, if you have different versions of Word, this could look differently. I had to learn this for this tutorial too, and all I did was ask the Google Help function and, and figured it out. So I bet you can do the same thing. All right, so percentile, and then it tells me I need an array, comma, a K. And array is simply the set of values. But then I need to put in a comma and then a K, that's the percentile. And it needs to be put in as a decimal. So what I want to do is I want to get the 75th percentile, and then I'm going to subtract the 25th percentile, and that'll give me the um, inner quartile range. So there's the first term. Now I'm going to subtract the percentile dot inc, inclusive, oops, inc parentheses, the same array, comma, now the 0.25 or the 25th percentile. Close my parentheses and hit enter, and it gives me an IQR of 4. For the sample standard deviation, the code that I need to use is STDEV, I believe, let me check, equals ST. Yep, DEV, and then you want the sample version. The P stands for population and the S stands for sample. So make sure you choose the sample one. Okay, and now it's going to want the values in my sheet, like always. So there's my sample standard deviation. And my sample variance, I'm just going to really easily grab this guy and carrot square it. <laughs> That's kind of funny, carrot squared. <laughs> That'll give me my sample variance. I'm going to show you one more thing um, today that we haven't done yet, is we haven't formatted cells to deal with rounding and whatnot. There's a couple ways to do that, but I want to report these to just say two decimals. So up in the home ribbon, you should have 
a button that looks like this where you can decrease the decimal and you can just do that manually clicking until you have all the ones you want or you can format the cells which is done with a right click or control click format cells and that'll open up this window in which you can change in your number to the number of decimals that you want. The nice thing about that is it does round for you and it rounds correctly so if you're ever not sure how to round something you can always let Excel kind of do it for you so you can verify that you know what you're doing. Alright, so the only difference between the range IQR sample standard deviation sample variance for the other variables is that you just need to change the array so that it targets the ranges for those other values instead of heights. Good luck!